Hello, this is Miss Sakura and today we're going to be discussing wig styling. So this is supposed to be a Reiji wig. What the hell is that? I don't know. Um, so this is Reiji's hair. This is my hair. So it's gonna need a lot of work as most wigs do. I mean, if you've ever seen a wig that comes styled perfectly, then I don't know. Tell me where you bought it from because I want to know. Um, so first step, I flat iron almost all of my wigs because it's just a necessity. And you might be saying, my wig's not heat proof. It doesn't freaking matter if it is or not. What you do is you take wax paper and wrap it around your flat iron. It looks really ratchet, but you know what? It works. And turn it down to the lowest setting possible. Like, mine's at a one, which means it's probably like, I don't know. It's like hot-ish, but it's not hot at all because you're gonna burn your wig. And what you're gonna do to, this is like the way to reverse the spikes because right now we're trying to reverse the spikes. It requires plenty of patience but we're gonna curve it under. And we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. This takes forever, you'll be here forever. I've been working on this side for like 20 minutes and it still looks like crap. So, you're pretty much just gonna use patience. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Patience, look at how much better. Look at how much better. I'm just saying guys, please flat iron your wigs, I don't care what style you're going for, it's, unless you're going for a spiky spiky style, then you should flat iron your wigs going in the opposite direction. Um, and I would also suggest you get these hair clips to hold pieces of hair you don't want back, and it just helps the whole wig styling. But um, So I'm going to finish flat ironing this, and when I'm done, we're going to discuss uh, what in God's name we're going to do with this mullet, because we need to cut this. Obviously, this is disgusting. Like, ew. So, grossing me out so much. And we're gonna use some got to be glued and some hairspray to hold everything into place. So, I'll see you in a minute. So, at this point, like five minutes have elapsed. I basically got a bob with a mullet now. And so, a good thing to do now would be to take it off of your head because we want to get to these. And we can't do that on your actual head, so we're going to put it on Wigatha here. And now we can see how truly disturbing the back of this wig is. And we're going to use our cutting scissors. And we're just going to, I don't know, wing it, really. That's what I always do. And I mean, you may be like afraid of this. Oh my god, look at these flippies. Oh, I hate them! Um, but yeah, I really hate wig styling if you didn't notice. I don't know if my, if these tips are going to work. So I'm going to cut some of this and scream and then I'll be back in a minute. So in the past couple minutes, wow, the fluffies have returned. Um, I have cut the back some and I've reversed because the flip was originally going out like on this side you can see and I look like a 50s housewife. And when you curl in here and the hair lays like this against the neck, it's more of that Reiji style because Reiji has, um, I don't know, his hair comes like forward like this and flips in. And then these side pieces go like, kind of like this. And then they're gonna flip out, which we'll do with some product. We're gonna flip out like this. See, that's, that's kind of what we want with our Reiji look. And then of course we're gonna have our centerpiece here, which we're gonna work on um, prior to fixing the back. So after a little bit more tweaking, the back should actually be, um, acceptable. <laughs> our next issue to deal with is our center part. We want to make sure it's not too thin, not too thick, not too long. Reiji's I'm going to cut to be about right here and then twirl under and up like he does, kind of like this. I'm not sure if I like it this thick at the moment. I might take some hair away. I don't want this to be too thick. I hate it when middle parts are too thick. Please make sure your middle part is not too thick so I don't have to come and OCD all over you, because I will. And as you can see here we've got 
kinked hair here, which needs to be fun, which just get destroyed on the travel from Hong Kong to the otakus in the USA. So, just take care of that. And he has the side pieces that are going to go back in a way like this. We're going to use product to keep those back kind of like this. Here we have a general idea of what the wig should look like once we finish all of our cuttings and ah! once we finish all of our cutting and all that stuff. So I'm going to cut some more and come back when I'm ready to, there's a wig hair up my nose, and come back when we're ready to use product. Now we're going to get at it with some got to be glue. This is kind of the length I want, but after I do the twisting, I'm going to do, it's going to end up over here somewhere. I'm thinking it might still be too long. Um, but yeah, so my main goal right now is to just, he's got to get at it. This is wigs, man. Like, there's no other way to describe it. I really hate styling wigs. The best way to apply the product is to apply it at the tips and just draw it back like this. And now we have something like that. We're gonna look at our reference picture, we're gonna say. Okay, that was pretty good considering what you were given. We're gonna use some product to keep these piece of crab spikies down. So we're just gonna pull those down, twisting our fingertips as we go. Okay, so this is looking a lot better than this side. We might want to make multiple spikes on the side going out because of the nature of his hairstyles. We might take some more hair from the same gathering and just put it separately, kind of like that. Now we have two there instead of just one. So we'll do that on this side with trying to keep the hair away from the face as much as possible. He's got it coming a little bit over his face, but just with the design of the wig, you know, your wig limits what you can do. So I'm gonna work on the other side. I'm also gonna work on this middle part using the same techniques I applied throughout the rest of the wig. Coming to a point here. And his twirls, it's like so stupid. And I'm gonna be able to pull it off. It's kinda like... No, no, see, this is wig styling. This is wig styling. It's too long, and now I'm just pissed off. And I can't put my scissors. So we're just gonna cut this some more. And we're just going to keep going until we get something slightly okay. So this is pretty much um, it for today. Um, I'm probably going to continue to work on this a little bit. But this was mostly just a walkthrough to help you see how I kind of um, style my wigs. And I think this is a grand improvement from what I've been presented with like 30 minutes ago. The look isn't going to come together until I have... Full makeup, which won't be till Monday, unfortunately. So, hope this helped you. If you have any more questions, suggestions for other ideas for videos, I'll answer basically any cosplay-related questions. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and see you guys later.